Come closer. Come closer. You guys ready? Good afternoon. Justice over convictions is the mission and mantra of my office. This has been the mission and mantra of my office. It will continue to be the mission and mantra of my office until I'm no longer state's attorney. This morning, I instructed my office to dismiss the criminal case against Adnan Saeed following the completion of a second round of touch DNA testing of items that were never tested before. Those items include skirt, pantyhose, shoes, and jacket of Miss Hay Min Lee. Although no DNA was recovered from the skirt, the pantyhose, or jacket swabs, there was a DNA mixture of multiple contributors on both Miss Lee's shoes. The same multiple contributor for both of Miss Lee's shoes. And most compellingly, Adnan Saeed, his DNA was excluded. My office received notice of these results on Friday. This morning, I personally reached out to the victim's attorney to inform Ms. Lee's family of the DNA findings and my decision to dismiss the case. We attempted to wait for confirmation of notice before releasing anything publicly, but we still, at this point, have not heard back from that attorney. As we communicated to the family before, we stand ready and willing to provide whatever counseling or support services that may be needed for that family who has had to relive an unimaginable nightmare over and over again. Equally heartbreaking is the pain and the sacrifice and the trauma that has been imposed not just on that family, but Adnan and his family, who together spent 23 years in prison for a crime as a result of a wrongful conviction. The fundaments of the criminal justice system should be based on fair and just prosecution. And the crux of the matter is that we are standing here today because that wasn't done 23 years ago. Although my administration was not responsible for neither the pain inflicted upon Hay Min Lee's family, nor was my administration responsible for the wrongful conviction of Mr. Saeed as a representative of the institution. It is my responsibility to acknowledge and to apologize to the family of Hay Min Lee and Adnan Saeed. As the administrator of the criminal justice system, it's my duty to ensure that justice is not delayed Justice is never denied, but justice be done. Today, justice is done. And that means today, tomorrow, and until my administration ends, we will continue to utilize every available resource to prosecute whoever is responsible for the death of Hei Min Lee. Because this is an open and pending investigation, we will not be disclosing anything else at this time, but I want to thank my team of hardworking, committed, best and brightest attorneys in the country, but I especially want to thank Becky Feldman from the bottom of my heart, who worked so hard on this case and every day works hard to ensure equality and justice, even for those that society doesn't care to remember actually exist. Thank you for heading one of the only sentencing review units out of a state's attorney's office in the country. We're here to take any questions. Madam State's Attorney, is she completely free or is there an appeal hang still hanging over her head? I've utilized my power and discretion to dismiss the case. There's no more appeal. It's moot. So that appeal just goes away? The case is over? The case is over. The case is over. He cannot. He cannot. And he, I understand that he's on the house arrest. He should be. It's a matter of the courts and how they, their procedures, but yes. What about the DNA of another suspect? 
but still an open and pending investigation. Do you have the form of certifying his innocence for him to so be citizen of the Womack Act? It's actually a certification process has to go into place, and the defense attorneys, we will work with them as we did in this case to ensure that that process is, is done. Um, did, was DNA, was the DNA in that process that was used this time something that wasn't available years ago? Yes, it's actually touch DNA, and, and touch DNA analyzes the skin cells left behind on evidence at a crime scene, and it has been available since about 2003, as you know. This case was originally prosecuted in 1999. So because of the advances in DNA, we were able to um, extract DNA from, from her shoes. So do you have all the DNA back now? Again, it's still an open and pending case, but with regard to Adnan Saeed, the case is finished. Are you still looking at those alternative suspects that were mentioned when you vacated the... I can tell you that, yes, the, the case is still an open and pending investigation. Can you give me an how close you are to making a move, uh, you know, on the alternative suspects? I, I can't, but I, I'm going to put every power and resource at my, you know, means to ensure justice for Heyman Lee. The Lee family says that they, they learned about this through media and that the Warren County Act, but what do you say? I don't know what to tell you. I have email that shows um, that we reached out to him. Um, we can't go directly to the family as we did before. As you're aware, we reached out to the, the brother of Heyman Lee before. We spoke directly with him. We provided and asked him for, you know, if he needed counseling services. We gave and provided uh, cell phone um, numbers, detective information. We gave him a copy of the motion before we filed it. We even arranged for him to appear by Zoom because the case was set in by the courts at such a, a quick, it, it quickly. But if you knew on Friday, why didn't you let the family know on Friday? Because it had to be set in. It had to be set in. We didn't know whether or not we had the ability. You have to get the approval of the court to be able to set it in for dismissal. So as soon as that was done, that's when we gave the call to, to the Heyman Lee family. Well, what do you think family? about the whole process with the Lee family? They, they think they've been left out of this process. I think it's unfortunate that, you know, you have certain attorneys that try to exploit families. And so I think that's what's happening in this case. I have evidence and proof that we reached out to the family. We've done that on every occasion. And we have to go through that attorney as opposed to speaking with that family directly. I guess just along those lines, why, since this case I have was set to be in court next week, why not wait to hear back from the attorney and then have a result out with that? Attorney? Justice delayed is justice denied. Who's it already, who's it already out? He's on home detention. We know that his DNA evidence is, is not a part of this case. It's exculpatory. Why would I wait just so that I could n appease someone who doesn't appear to be, and I'm not talking about the family, but the attorney in the case doesn't appear to be appeased? Is Mr. Saeed is he eligible for some kind of compensation for wrongful conviction and incarceration? After he goes through the certification process and he is deemed actually innocent. And that's something that has to start and is initiated by the the public defenders and the defense attorneys. So did you assign a homicide prosecutor to this case? Yes, we did. Can you tell us who that is? Off the Dunty. top of, oh, it's Michael Dunty. He's the chief of our homicide division. Okay. Your office has characterized the Brady violation in this case as misconduct by prosecutors who handled it previously. Have you referred to debarred counsel for disciplinary action against those lawyers or anything like that? No, I have not. Why? That's not my, my duty, my responsibility. My, my primary obligation is to find the perpetrators of, of, the, of the person who killed Heyman Lee. That's my, my priority. I think the questions that you guys have been asking me, you should be asking the individuals that sat on the exculpatory evidence for all these years. You sit in the admin spotlight for a number of things, but uh -huh. would you consider this a legacy case for you because of the new unit that you uh, put in place here? So I'm not in this work for legacy. Um, I can just tell you that we have the only sentencing, one of the only sentencing review units in the country where we review and modify the sentences of juvenile lifers in the elderly prison population. We've been able to um, modify and release over 40 individuals, none of whom have recidivated. I started the first conviction integrity unit in the entire state of Maryland where we do reinvestigations into claims of actual innocence. Mr. Saeed is the 13th individual that we have um, actually exonerated and so, and, or intend to exonerate. And so, you know, it's not about legacy. It's about 
righteousness. It's about justice. It's about making America live up to its ideals of justice and equality and freedom for everybody. The, the, as I stated in my, my remarks, the items that we tested had never before been tested. And we used advanced DNA to determine that it was not Adnan Saeed. We got DNA this time. The first round of testing, DNA testing, we didn't have enough of the sampling and it was inconclusive because we didn't have enough of the sampling to make any sort of determination, definitive determination as to who that was or who it wasn't. I can't tell you that at this time. Is there any concern that the investigation into this, this case is going to stall out under the new administration? I can't answer what will happen with the new administration. Just give me what one more question. What can you say, Eric? Could you pull um, who you feel like Adnan Syed did have papers that um, they felt they were wrongfully imprisoned um, moving forward about their case? What can you say? I can say what I've always said. Justice is always worth the price paid for its pursuit. And, you know, hopefully, um, you know, other prosecutors in the country model what we've been able to do successfully in Baltimore City for the past seven years. Can I just ask, I think I'm a little confused about maybe it's a semantic thing or maybe it's a procedural thing. Mm -hmm. Are you saying today that this office is exonerating him, that he is innocent? I'm, I'm not using those words. But what I said is that he's been wrongfully convicted. Right? And until they go through the certification process and they actually, and I have the, um, I think I have the actual thing. No, I don't. I don't have the, the detail or the, uh, the law, but I will give it to you. I can give it to you in the future. But so who, when you say they, like who it's, is it's, it has to be initiated by the, d the defense counsel. And, and, it's and then we, it's, it's petitioning to, for his actual innocence. Petitioning the court? Yes. In this court, circuit court. Yes. Yeah. And your office will agree to that? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you.